Hey y'all, hey, and welcome back. This is Cheryl Johnson with Hey Girl TV, and I'm so excited. It is Vlogmas Day 19, and I am bringing you back a new scent that I picked up. It is, it was, well, actually, it's on my Christmas list of gifts, but Santa has been coming early for me, okay? <laughs> and I want to thank you all for your kind comments and um, people wanted me to keep these fragrance reviews coming. You like the way I describe fragrances. I mean, it's all in fun. I just don't know. I get carried away when I smell a scent and I just tell y'all what I'm feeling. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. And we'll have more fragrances to come. And Santa's going to be bringing some more fragrances. So there'll be more reviews. <laughs> By Carolina Herrera and I don't own a high heel in my collection um, until now so um, actually when I went to Ulta like about two weeks ago maybe a week and a half ago I went in for the um, the Chanel perfume um, the Chanel Mademoiselle and then I also got the Gabrielle but this young lady named Kando, I don't know if you're watching, girl, but she's at Sephora here in Surprise, Arizona. So, hi, Kando. And she let me smell this. And I was like, well, damn. Damn. But I, I, I sprayed on some other fragrances, too. So, I'm not really sure, like, how this scent really smells because I didn't have any coffee. I didn't clear my nose. I didn't do any of that stuff. So... What I smelled, what happened was I went ahead and bought, well, no, let me start at the beginning. I went in, I thought they were going to bring it to the car, which they did not. So I had to get out the car and I had my hot shoes on and my hat on. And, you know, I was, I had just left Target because they bring stuff to the car. So I was making all these purchases where I would have to do is just stay in the car and they'll bring it out to me. So they didn't bring it out. I had to go in and I said, well, let me just look for a minute. And just see what Alta has. They had a lot of beautiful gift sets and stuff was just all, all over the place, looking pretty and just it was, everything was calling my name, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. I was like, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I, I'm gonna see what you got. So I would decided to take a look around, and this beautiful young lady named Candle came over. And she's like, girl, let me. No, I take that back. I had asked. Oh, I asked if um, someone could hold my bags so I could look. And I was wanting to smell the Chanel and the Chanel Gabrielle again. I just wanted to kind of make sure that I was buying what I wanted. So a young lady came over named Kando. And she was like, oh, I can help you. So we went over and she... Um, told me which Chanel perfumes that I bought and she let me smell them I was like okay okay and the Gabrielle I wasn't quite sure about that one but she was like girl let me just show you like some of the scents that I like and I was like okay so she sprayed um she sprayed this one she sprayed the black um good girl and then she showed me the new one by Angel and the, and the pink bottle, which that's on my list. And y'all, yeah, I think I'm going to be getting that tomorrow. But, um, yes. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, you know, no, no, no. I'm not here to buy. I'm not here to buy. I'm just here to look and here to sniff. And I appreciate your help. So me and my granddaughter, we were inside the store. And we were getting ready to wrap it up and get ready to go. So I got into the car. And I kept... <laughs> I mean, I could not stop sniffing where she sprayed this perfume so i was like you know what i'm gonna go back in i'm gonna exchange the gabrielle for this one so this is what i did y'all this is what i did so like i said i didn't i don't feel that i've got you know a really good sniff of this perfume as of yet because i was spraying other things and smelling the chanel and i didn't have that break in between of coffee to sniff so y'all gonna experience this with me so let me 
this is where the the bottle this is the spray hole here look how beautiful that is it reminds me of a red bottom but in reverse so that's pretty cool so before let's we start let me just um tell you guys a little bit about this scent it is fun fabulous and fearless so ooh, that sounds very interesting and I can't wait to smell it. Now, most perfume, well, perfumes, they have top notes, middle notes, and bottom notes. Your top note is going to be what you first smell when you spray it. Your middle note is going to be after it dries down a little bit. That's what you're going to smell. And then what's left over in the bottom note, that's going to be the lasting of the fragrance, um, is what you're going to have as the bottom note, is what's going to stay, like, at the bottom. So the top notes in this fragrance um, are red currant, lychee, that's interesting. Middle note is rose, which I love rose. And the bottom notes are um, vetiver, vetiver? I'm going to leave it at that. And vanilla, and I love vanilla. So, okay, let's get the spraying, girl. Let's get the spraying. So, uh-oh, let me see. How do you... I'm going to break my hair now. And let it dry. Don't crush it and, and smear it because you're going to crush your top top and possibly middle notes. Okay? So you just want to let it dry. Don't do nothing else. Just let it dry. Definitely... The red current jumps out at you. And if that's what lychee is, Lord have mercy. I do smell the rose. The rose is is very um I mean it really the rose really stands out. It's like rose with two components on the sides going like this to the rose. That's what I feel like this scent is doing. And then on that bottom note i can smell the vanilla okay y'all so <laughs> this is good this is good this smells like rose has decided that she wants to just go out and have a good time And that I smell like a little powdery, powdery scent, but it, it smells like it's that vanilla. Oh my gosh. So I see her in this tight, oh my God, fitted red dress. Y'all with just one sleeve. The other side is out, like shoulder, clavicle, all of that with a big puffy sleeve on one side, short skirt bodycon fitted, simple jewelry, just like maybe like a little pair of like little diamond earrings like what I'm wearing. And this girl, first, she wants to go have cocktails. Then she wants to go have hookah honey. <laughs> And then she's like, y'all, let's go to the club or go somewhere else after this and have a nightcap. But dancing is involved in this fragrance. I don't see that you cannot dance with this fragrance. I mean, this fragrance is fabulous. I love the combination of the vanilla and the rose mixed together. But yes, yeah, she is sharp, honey. She has this fragrance on. She has like a swooped piece in front. And maybe since my swoop is going this way, I'll do it this way. She has a swoop going this way that's tight, slick, into like a ponytail. Yes, girl. Her makeup is just flawless and she has blue eyeliner underneath you know how you have that pop of color with that blue that blue like eyeliner on your waterline yes and she is like highlighted all up in here this area is really light 
and she has a lot of contouring on with a nice new lip shoes are just her shoes are high heeled but they are like the invisible like the clear straps so it looks like her foot is just floating in air and she is ready this is definitely a scent for date night definitely a scent for hanging out going out with the girls girls night i love this it's just hard to to describe this one because it's warm it's cuddly and then it's like oh, hey uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like i need a red lip on while i'm talking about this perfume i just really feel like i need a red lip that's how good it is i'm definitely going to go back and try the black hill as well because this is beautiful it's beautiful i can also see a woman um going out for brunch in a pretty little white flowy dress yes this you can turn this around you can flip this around but definitely i feel that this is uh something to wear like after one o'clock because it's bold it's bold like it says it's fun it's fabulous it's fearless i don't give a damn i don't give a damn if my name ain't on the list I need to get up in here, Mr. Bouncer, sir. <laughs> yes. And is my brunch table ready? It's got to be ready. Smell it. <laughs> so, guys, this is my thought. These, well, this was my thought on this perfume. I think out of one to ten, it is a nine. I would recommend you to go out and buy this. If you that girl who does not give a damn and you want to be the first person in line and you want to just go from the back all the way to the front and go past everybody else, that's who this girl is. She's fearless. <laughs> but she does tip the bouncer, okay? So, yes. So, great scent. I love this scent. Um, it kind of reminds me of Yves Saint Laurent Paris. That is a rose scent as well. And yeah, y'all, if you guys have any comments or concerns, please leave them down in the, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for the support. I love you and bye. <laughs>